Hey, this is Puneet back again and in this video, I'll be sharing with you five tips that can help you while working with Excel charts. And yes, you can save a lot of time as well. So give me your five minutes to show these five tips. All right, so in the first tip, what I'm gonna do is, I have this chart here and the data which I'm using has a lot of zeros. So when I share this chart with someone, it's really hard for the user to understand these figures because these are in millions and it's, it's really hard. It takes a few seconds to understand what is 6 million, 5 million or like 60 million actually or 50 million or 40 million. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this unit so that anyone can understand it in the first sight. So I'm going to select this axis and open the format axis options from here. And from the format access options, there's a further option called display units. And I'm going to use millions. So as soon as I click on millions and tick mark show display units label on the chart, it gives me a small figure that's 60, 50, 40 and 30 millions. So it's really easy for anyone, for any user to understand that this value is 60 million or 50 million. Now moving to the second tip, here I have a simple column chart. Now the problem with this chart is when I hide a row or a few rows, data bars from the chart will also disappear. Now the fix to this problem is, you need to right click on the chart, open the select data option, and from here you need to click hidden and empty cells. And from here there is a option show data in hidden rows and columns and you need to tick mark it and click OK. So now every time if somehow you hide a row or multiple rows from the source data it will not hide data bars from the chart. I have this month wise data with amount but for the June month there is no uh, value in the cell and as you can see there is a gap between May and July. So there are few options that you can use to correct this problem. So when you right click on the chart and go to select data and again open the hidden and empty cells. So there are three options that you can use. Either you can go with the gap as it is or you can use zero. Let's suppose if I click on zero and come back. So it will add a zero automatically to the chart but that's not a good way to present data. I'm going to use connect data points with line. So this way it connects May with July, leaving that June as it is. But there's no gap between May and July now. So here's the fourth tip. And this tip is going to save you a lot of time in future. So what happens is when I create a chart or any chart, column chart, line chart, bar chart, I use a set of formatting to the chart. So now the problem is every time when I create a chart, when I insert a new chart, I have to apply that formatting every single time. So the solution to this problem is you can apply uh, the formatting that you want to a particular chart. Let's suppose uh, the chart that I have, I have a green bars and I have added a background to the title and few, you know, data access settings. So, so I'm going to save this chart as a template. So you need to right click on the chart and click on save as template. And now when I have to create this chart again, I simply need to go to insert and open the all chart options. And here I have this option called templates where my all the templates that I already saved is there. So instead of going for the normal cluster column chart, I'm going to click on my column chart template and click OK. So I'll get the exact chart, the same formatting that I have saved. Well, I have shared this tip multiple times before. So if you want to copy chart formatting from one chart to another chart, you simply need to select the chart, press the Control plus C in the shortcut or you can also uh, simply copy it and then you need to select the second chart 
go to the home tab paste option open the paste special click on formats and click ok that's it hey thanks for watching this video and if you find these tips useful please subscribe to this channel because i'll be coming out with a lot of cool stuff in coming weeks so i'll see you in the next video